Good afternoon, my name is Narina and I'm here with Ida, Charlotte and Emily. We are from Wagga Wagga and studying at Kildare Catholic College. We have travelled 460 kilometres to participate in this event to demonstrate our commitment to our business owner. Our team wishes to thank David Farrell, the CEO of Finclear, for sponsoring this event to support the development of young people's skills. We have travelled here today to present our proposal to increase the sustainability of our local cafe, The Brew. We will now play a short video to give you an insight of the cafe. Welcome to The Brew, a local cafe residing in the town of Wagga Wagga, who has a primary mission to be more environmentally friendly. The Brew is not only a cafe dedicated to sustainability, but also a haven for great cafe food, locally sourcing ingredients. Kim, the owner of the establishment, envisions her cafe as a beacon of eco-friendly practices, as a shining example for other businesses in Wagga. The Brew has already implemented several sustainable measures to reduce our environmental impact. However, Kim recognises there are challenges and limitations the cafe faces. In her quest, we collaborated with Kim and devised a sustainable solution to implement in the Brew Cafe, in hopes for a greener tomorrow. Join us on our journey to a more sustainable future. Together, we can make a real difference for our planet. Kim, the owner of the brew, is concerned about the negative environmental impact that the business is creating, despite its efforts to create a more sustainable atmosphere. A key factor impacting Kim's business is the usage of single-use coffee cups. Did you know that single-use takeaway cups can't be recycled due to the plastic coating? Multiple sources, including Sustainability Victoria and ABC News, quote the rubbish generated from single-use beverages to be in excess of 60,000 kilograms. The brew recognises they are part of this problem. Hence, we collaborated with Kim to improve practices and reduce landfill. As a collective, we propose many solutions to promote environmental sustainability and reduce the brew's ecological footprint. Our best three solutions were partnering with the council to reduce the costs of effective waste management, introducing a scrap and composting business venture, and implementing a keep cup library. Firstly, Kim informed us that bin disposals at the brew are the business owner's responsibility. Upon reflection, Kim identified that the business currently spends over $1,000 annually on a third-party organisation to dispose of rubbish. Kim also stated that to remove waste correctly under Wagga's waste management system means that general waste costs less than recycling and green waste, thereby enticing businesses to reduce cost by placing all rubbish in general waste. Shocking, isn't it? We recommended collaborating with Wagga City Council to create a more equitable model, whereby bin collection would be free or capped to an extent. Ultimately, this would encourage recycling and reduce landfill waste. Secondly, we looked at the amount of food waste being produced, with roughly three large green bins being filled each week. Using the quantity, we thought of a profit opportunity to sell bags of scraps and coffee grinds to customers to promote local composting. This would take that responsibility off the hands of the brew whilst encouraging sustainable behaviour. Moreover, it would provide another source of income for the business to invest in other sustainability programs. Finally, our best recommendation tackled the prime issue that our business owner identified, takeaway beverage cups in landfill. Introducing Sip and Save. Sip sustainably, save responsibly. Sip and Save is a keep cup library whose goal is to promote the use of reusable cups among the customers of the brew. Kim identified an issue as many customers were ordering through online platforms, all the cups being used were single use cups, which was overall generating mass amounts of waste. So how will this work? Our Sip and Save reusable cup will be available as an option to use both in-store and online whilst ordering drinks. So, as customers choose to have their drinks in their keep cups, they can borrow clean keep cups to place their drinks in, and upon their next arrival, either purchase or simply drop off the used keep cup. Then, the cup can be placed in the used cup collection area, where they will be washed and sanitised via dishwasher, in line with food health and safety standards, and returned to the shelf for reuse. Our aim was to propose the idea to Wagga City Council and partner with them for the endorsement and supply of the Keep Cups, which would feature the council branding and other possible sponsorships of community businesses. This initiative extends the impact of community messages such as Respect Week. For Respect Week, the council already provides single-use cups with a limited time banner on them. A reusable cup with this branding prolongs this message. This would benefit Wagga's image, inviting more people to live in a sustainable town with an environmentally aware business. Through meeting with the stakeholders at Wagga City Council, we discussed and presented our mission statement of Sit and Saved. 
we're thrilled to announce that Wagga City Council has agreed to sponsor the Sip and Save program. If all goes well, we would love to implement the Keep Cup Library through all the local cafes within the Wagga area. Our reusable Keep Cup prototype is made of a sustainable double insulated plastic that has a rubber band that would have both our personal branding alongside the councils and other sponsorships from local businesses. So, to conclude, we would like to thank you for all listening to our presentation and giving us this opportunity to present our ideas on how to make our local cafe, The Brew, a more sustainable atmosphere. Thank you. Thank you.